Hey guys, Ski with Pete here. Just wanted to do a quick follow-up video on the 7-inch Raspberry Pi touchscreen display. If you haven't already watched the video on how to set this up, I suggest you watch that now. One of the things that I wanted to do, because this cable's a lot longer and bulkier than I was hoping, is to remove this from the setup. Now, just before I remove it, I want to explain exactly what it was and what it was doing. This power cable went from the controller board which is not the Raspberry Pi, it's the board underneath the Raspberry Pi, it goes on the USB power out, which was this side, and then connected to the Raspberry Pi up here, where the power is. Now, the alternative method actually does the opposite. So this cable was enabling the bottom board to power the Raspberry Pi on top. What we're gonna do with the GPIOs is, the exact opposite. So these are the GPIO connectors that came with it. What I'm going to do... Okay, I'm just going to take two wires here, the red and the black. I'm going to use the red for power. This is the 5 volt in here. And this is the ground on the other side here. You can see that. This, we're just going to connect to the 5 volt out on the Raspberry Pi, which is there. And this, we're going to connect to the ground, which is this pin here. But I never like to use those numbers because I find the numbering system confusing. What I can tell you is, looking at the board, it's the furthest out and furthest away from the USB. That's 5 volt. The second one is also 5 volts, so we're not going to use that. And the third one down is ground. So those are the pins now connected. These wires are really long. I wish they were shorter, but they're, they are what they are. Now what I'm going to do is connect, instead of to the bottom board, I'm now going to connect to the Raspberry Pi, as it'll be the Raspberry Pi that's providing the power to the seven inch screen. There you can see it's working. Just to give it a slightly cleaner look, I've wrapped this around this leg under here just to not have the cable bulking out so much. That's all. Well, thanks very much for tuning in today, guys. If you have any comments or questions, post them in the comment section below. Check the About section for relevant links to everything you've seen here today. Don't forget to check out my other Raspberry Pi videos. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so on Patreon or by buying me a coffee in the About section below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you found it useful or helpful. And remember to press subscribe so you catch all the future content as and when it comes out. Thanks again, guys.